Hello, hackers, makers, and DIY electronics enthusiasts. Welcome to HackerBoxes. Please take a look at our website at hackerboxes.com. Today, we're going to unbox HackerBox number 0007. All right, well, let's see what we have here in this month's HackerBox. Well, looks like we have a lot of great items to go through. Let's start with our reference card. It shows that this month our theme is Soundscape. Box number 0007 from Hacker Boxes is the Soundscape box. And that name is because we will be working with the generation of sounds, noises, and music from electronic devices. Um, we are featuring on this reference card some block diagrams and pinouts for some useful semiconductor devices such as the VS1053B chip from VLSI. It is an audio codec that can process MP3s, AAC files, WAV files, MIDI files, and so forth. Um, we also have a block diagram and pinout for the microchip MCP4725 um, digital to analog converter uh, device. It's a 12-bit um, digital to analog converter. You can see it's a, in a very tiny little package. Um, and then the LM3D6 is a pretty standard uh, chip. It's um, available in an 8 pin dip and some other packages. So, pretty widely used for um, audio, power amplifier, um, frequently to drive uh, speakers and headphones and things like that. So, those are the devices we are referencing on our card. Um, we'll be seeing more, hearing more about these in a moment. So, um, let's move on to seeing what's in the box here. So, first up, we have a We have an Arduino shield with the um, the VS1053 chip on it, the um, audio codec we mentioned. These are often called a music shield or an MP3 shield. Um, there's been a lot of different designs of the similar, similar to this board. Um, this one in particular has a built-in microphone, which is kind of nice, and it has two 3.5 millimeter audio jacks for input and output, and it has a micro SD card slot. So, um, of course it is, uh, also from the box here, we have the uh, Robot Dyne um, Uno uh, R3 board. Let's pull this out. This is a a um, it's a nice uh, uh, Ar Arduino bootloader board. It has um, micro uh, USB connector on it, which is uh, useful since uh, a lot of us have these cables from our our cell phones and tablets all over the place now. Um, We've worked with Robot Dyne before. They make some really nice uh, microprocessor modules, and this being a uh, compatible shield means it can plug right on there, and we're ready to go with um, controlling this audio codec through the uh, microcontroller. Let's see what else we have here. So we have a little kit of electronic components. Um, in, inside this kit, there are some discrete capacitors and resistors. Um, we can uh, use these for um, a lot of different things, but one thing that we might uh, take a shot at in one of our experiments is uh, doing analog um, filtering using the and RC filters and doing low pass and high pass filters and seeing how they, they affect signals in the audio domain for removing high frequencies or removing low frequencies from a signal. Uh, we can implement those um, in the uh, analog filters using these discrete electronic components. And um, it might be interesting to compare those with uh, the, um, an the, the, these analog filters with uh, digital filters implemented using digital signal processing techniques. So since we have uh, uh, the uh, microcontrollers, we could try um, some digital filtering and compare it with analog filtering. That um, might be valuable to see. And also from that kit bag, the uh, item that we pulled out here, we lost our little wash sticker, is a, uh, a little piezo buzzer. And that will be useful for um, actually uh, hearing our, some of the sounds we work at. The piezo buzzer is uh, one type of actuator that can convert electrical signals to mechanical vibrations, which is what sounds are. Um, you know, more uh, uh, generally familiar type of uh, actuator of that similar nature is just a speaker driver. This is a pretty standard 8 ohm uh, half watt speaker driver. This is very similar to the ones we used to always find in, in uh, inside of PC cases. So we have these two different um, audio driver devices we can try out. Um, 
and let's see what else is here in this box. We have so many items. Um, we have a, an SD card, and that can be useful as as we saw. There's an SD card slot on this uh, codec board, and then we have to go with that a little um, SD reader device that's very tiny. It's almost like a keychain that can plug into a USB port and you can put the um, little micro SD card in the back of that and use this to read and write um, files such as audio files um, just using your computer and the USB port. So, have that to go. And then um, we have some, some kind of standard audio interconnect cables. They have a 3.5 millimeter jacks on them. We have a couple, couple of them in the box, some different colors. And um, here's an example of where you might use these are on these 3.5 millimeter ports on the um, music uh, shield, um, as well as most devices that have audio jacks, such as the soundboard in a computer, the sound ports on a laptop or on a mobile device, such as a smartphone or a tablet. So these are kind of useful cables to have. If you really just need one connector, you could uh, sacrifice one of these by cutting it, and then you'd have two connectors that you could break out into circuits, or, or you can just use these like this as interconnects. They're useful to have ones like that. And speaking of interconnections, we have uh, uh, 10 um, male to female DuPont wires. Those are um, always handy for hooking up and will be useful for some of the modules that we uh, will be working with here. All right, digging further into our box, we have a soldering kit with a PCB in it. Let's uh, pop that PCB out. Um, that PCB and it has a integrated circuit and a socket and all the discretes and then a number of LEDs. So those LEDs go along the edge here. And um, as we'll see, this uh, circuit board implements a an audio level uh, um, display. So these LEDs will light up according to the, the amplitude of the audio signal coming in and they will pulse up and down as that amplitude changes. So it gives a little animated graphic effect that we can use when working with our um, soundscape audio circuits and audio signals in this uh, in this box and it give us a little um, project to solder there so, and uh, we have to go uh, with that a little uh, 9 volt battery clip to power that board if you don't have a bench supply or some other supply for that yeah. all right so this little module right here has let's bring back our reference card this little module has the the MCP4725 um, digital to analog converter chip on it, and that module comes with some a little single row of single single row of headers to interface with it. So this is a digital to analog converter chip, and it can take a, a digital signal in, so you can drive it with a digital signal from from let's say your um, your Arduino board or some other microprocessor or digital circuit, and then it will generate a nice analog output signal. So that um, sound is generally an analog um, an analog signal. Um, we, you know, our ears work in analog, we hear analog signals. Um, uh, in the computer or in our microcontrollers, we can represent sound information as, as digitized information that's sampled in, in time and uh, quantized in, in amplitude so that we can represent it with a series of numbers and manipulate it in digital signal processing and we can store it on memory chips and things like that. And then we can compress it using algorithms like MP3 and, and uh, decompress it. But then when it comes time to hear it, we have to use digital to analog conversion to convert that back to an analog signal. So we have that little module here, the MCP4725. And then um, we have another module here with the LM386 audio power amplifier. So this can take an audio signal or an, an analog audio signal, for example, the output from our DAC, and can drive it using the tiny uh, package of the LM386 there, can drive that signal in, into an um, amplified state to, in order to power a, head, a set of headphones or speakers. Um, and the output of this can actually drive directly into a speaker. So we can go from um, the digital domain through the digital to analog converter feature here and on this board and through the audio power amplifier feature here and on this board and then into a speaker and we can have a effectively a full sound card. So that is a, a nice um, family of uh, 
modules and devices. And then, not to be outdone by that, we have another item here in our box that is simply a standalone MP3 player. So this can also use a, a S, an SD memory card, um, can also read from a USB stick, and it has a MP3 decoder chip on it, and you can go, go jump through the files and change the volume on it, and then it has an output that can drive to a speaker. So this is a, a very nice little package that you can slip a tiny card in here with some sounds on it and then use them in other projects. So, you know, you have uh, something you've been wanting to put sound in, maybe a holiday project, you know, maybe you need a talking jack-o'-lantern come Halloween or, or, or you want to add this to a, um, a do not disturb sign implemented as a traffic light. Um, this is a, a great kind of little module for that. So, we'll, uh, be unhappy to play with that. And let's see, all right, there's one more interesting item in our box. Now, um, not all electronics hobbyists are poets, but we can all play with play with words. This is a, um, a little uh, poetry word magnet sticker, but instead of having uh, beautiful poetic words like the ones that you can buy in the store, this one has um, lots of uh, great terms that are related to both um, programming. There are some words in here that are keywords from the C programming language and from the uh, wiring language used in the um, Arduino uh, environment. And there are also words related to sound and audio processing, such as beat, sonic, wave, buzz, vibration, Fourier. Um, we have some electronic components, um, uh, just some pronouns and verbs and variables. So, you know, it'd be interesting to see what people do with this. Maybe you could um, uh, upload some pictures if you do something fun with this. And uh, again, these are magnetic, so these stick really nicely to filing cabinets and refrigerators and things like that. All right, so looks like that's all the items in this box. Quite a few um, interesting items here in the soundscape themed hacker box number 0007. Okay, thanks for joining us, and remember to check out HackerBoxes.com. You can um, learn more about this box and also learn how to subscribe so that you can receive your own HackerBox in the mail every month.